Welcome back to Blar. Unfortunately, the sound messed up on this video, so I'm going to have to do a voiceover. So you won't hear a lot of the unboxing kind of sounds. I do have a box with me, so maybe I'll simulate what I'm doing and try to sync it up. I'm not really going to spend too much time doing that. This is Baroness from G.I. Joe, Snake Eyes movie. Uh, it's $4.99. You can see the box is in terrible shape, and that's how it was at Ollie's. I did grab it, though. I was like, ah, oh, that's an extra one. It's the only one they had. And it looks pretty good, action figure-wise. Doesn't look like the Baroness, because the Baroness in this movie did not look like the Baroness. And this was a terrible movie, but it did give us some cheap action figures that looked pretty good. So I think everyone in the line, actually, action figure-wise, did look good. Um, even if this doesn't look like Baroness, it's still a pretty good-looking action figure. Kind of looks maybe like Baroness's daughter it could be, or a rival, or something. You know, the hair is really wrong. Um, the look overall is just a little off. Doesn't say Baroness, but it does look like a cool Cobra action figure. It's got the submachine gun, got the two swords there, and the glasses. So some nice accessories, and everything was intact, even though the box is in terrible shape. Uh, it's very thin action figure. The limbs are very thin. So articulation works fine, though. It just feels a little delicate when messing with like the arms. I'm going to leave it out of the box because the box is in such bad condition anyway, so we're going to pop open all these weapons and um, put them on the axe figure, see how it looks. Again, I don't know why the audio messed up. It is what it is though. And it has a little bit of art on the side there, art on the front. All right, let's pop these open, see how they look. Okay, so we got all the stuff out. Glasses, swords, and some machine gun with suppressor. The suppressor does come off. It accidentally popped off when I was taking it out of the package. So I thought I broke it, but luckily it does come off on purpose. Glasses kind of fit okay. They kind of go under her helmet haircut, so they stay on. I guess that was the purpose of having like the helmet looking haircut. Not a fan of, of that look. So as much as I'm kind of complaining about it, I do like the action figure. Action figure wise, so yeah, put the weapons here. Nope, that is the wrong hand to choose. So, I'm trying to force it for a second, I was like, Well, it's probably gonna break. So, try the other hand, and it, <laughs> it just fits in snugly, very quickly, and she's ready to go. And she looks a lot better holding the uh, her weapon. And on the back, she has the holsters for her blades. So I tried to get the knife in here. Again, uh, the grasp and the fingers feel real delicate. So I didn't want to break it. So we're just going to put them in the back in the uh, sword holders. As soon as I try this again and decide, nope, it's not a bad idea. All right, so let's put them in the back. Okay, they look good back there. So they work a little snug, which is fine because you don't want them falling out, so snug is better. Kind of has like, I don't know, she stands up okay. <laughs> These ankle rockers, I know I complain about them. I know they're for posing and articulation, but it's such a pain sometimes to get things to stand. But she stands all right. She stands better than some Fortnite action figures that I've dealt with. Definitely worth $4.99 just for a, a Joe action figure or in general a good action figure with some cool accessories. I still don't, don't know why they don't put the art on the back, but whatever. That is Baroness from the Snake Eyes movies. Definitely worth $4.99. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night wherever you are. Remember to smash that like button and hit subscribe. I do appreciate it. Thanks.